everyone welcome back to my channel i am jessica and today we are going to do a holiday inspired old hollywood hair look the holiday seasons are here and i love to judge up my hair for a date night or a holiday party and my go-to look are usually some big wavy curl types on my hair and I'm going to show you how to have that old Hollywood holiday sexy hair look with just a flat iron. So as I showed you I am going to use a flat iron and of course some heat protecting spray. Um, when I usually do these looks on my hair or I curl it my hair is already kind of a couple of days old. Right now, this is seven day old hair, so I haven't washed it for about seven days already. I'm definitely gonna wash it in a couple of days. But this is the status of my hair. It's pretty straight right now. I straightened it um, about a week ago. So I usually wash my hair once a week, and that's pretty much it. If I haven't done anything extra to my hair, then maybe twice a week. But um, but I usually just wash my hair once a week and that's pretty So to get started, you definitely need a flat iron or you can use a curling iron. I do have the beach waver, but I really love my flat iron method better. Um, heat protecting spray, I use a prep rally from Dry Bar. A hair clip of course or a hair tie whatever you have to hold up your hair and that's pretty much it I don't really use hairspray at all if you do have hairspray you can go ahead and use it and just spritz a little bit on your hair to hold your curls a little bit more my hair already kind of holds up the style so it's not something I typically go to but if you want the hair style to last um, throughout the whole day definitely do recommend some hairspray and you'll be all set. So let's get started to the sexy holiday old Hollywood hairstyle. First thing, I am going to part my hair up like this. I usually leave it in bigger chunks. So you see, I kind of started here instead of down here. Um, honestly, when I am flat ironing my hair or straightening it, I have smaller chunks like this, but we're gonna do a little bit bigger chunks for today. And of course, to save some time, I love saving time. And as you can see, I am wearing my Muck Luck loungewear. I love this so much, it's buttery soft. I do have the Stars one. I don't know if I've worn it yet, if you see me in the Stars one, but I love the Stars one too. Super cute and trendy. Oh my gosh, you also need a brush. Where have I been? I forgot. Where's my brush? Okay. So, found a brush here. Oh, it's kind of messy. Anyways, so I'm just going to comb up my hair like this. And, and I'm going to add some of the spray. You know what? Let's just put my hair down and let's add the heat protective spray all over so it can kind of soak in. like this as i mentioned before heat protecting spray is extremely important it helps protect any breakage or damage of course i probably am damaging my hair from adding heat right now but i just hope the hair gods forgive me and still bless me with healthy hair or helping me to improve the health of my hair Anyways, back to putting my hair back up. Okay. Let's just brush it one more time. And I'm just going to take literally um, pretty much half of it. So like this and start curling it. So I'm going to straighten this part. Let me do it like this. I'm going to go like this to try to straighten the bottom part. And this wood iron, I got it at a TJ Maxx. 
it was like an emergency flat iron honestly it's nothing super name brandy i know people like the chia flat iron as well but now that i kind of straighten it here there's still some volume which i still want to keep i'm going to add and go like this and twirl it twirl my hair and let it grow like that so you want like a curl like this and that's for right here so just curl like about up to here now we're gonna go do the same thing here i'm gonna just flat iron like that i should fix it and do the roots a little bit better um highly recommend a comb and not a brush i know i am using a brush right now I honestly think my hair stuff is kind of all over the place and I should organize it. So we got it like that. And now we're going to go like this. Honestly, when I'm recording, I sometimes wear my contacts and sometimes I don't. You want it like this. And... It's hard to literally wear your glasses with ring lights. So probably some of my videos, I can't see anything without my glasses because I hate the glare of the ring lights. So if you guys have any recommendations of ring light, glare, glasses situation, let me know because I don't really want to wear my contacts all the time because I'm just going to wear what for to shoot the video and go about my day i don't know if you guys have any suggestions on that situation please let me know okay so we're gonna do the same thing it is so hot here i wish i saved the little glove but i didn't if you have the little glove good for you like that this is honestly my go-to type of hairstyle, curling my hair. I just feel it's cute, but <laughs> why am I really curling my hair if my hair is naturally curly? Let's just think about that one. I should honestly work on my natural curls and learn to make them healthier and stay healthy, of course. And add some life to my natural curls instead of using a flat iron all the time okay yeah um getting your roots are extremely important especially for myself i do have very curly hair as you, as you guys saw i'm gonna curl this again and you do not want your roots kind of wavy like that like frizzy damn i'm just gonna do it like that it's okay if it stays a little bit big we're going for bigger curls and then we're gonna brush it out some type of result like this a bunch of curls your hair is a little bit everywhere but if you're a curly girl like me or have frizzy hair you want to make sure your roots are really 
straight at least so there isn't any frizziness going on there and your hair your hair will like blend in for everything else so this is what we have now to get that hollywood holiday sexiness look for your hair not your makeup we could do that another video <laughs> i usually part my hair based on my eyebrows so the top of my eyebrows so it's like this i usually part on this side that sexy hollywood look has like a deep part so you want to go something like this as long as you get the extra volume from curling your hair you're on the right track so this is what we have right now now we're going to work on this side where all the action happens so first off we want to straighten this part a little bit more make sure you don't have any flyaways like i probably have little baby hairs like that and i seriously get those little baby hairs from my glasses like the part that holds a frame literally breaks off my hair and it just oh i hate that part anyways enough about complaining now you want to work on this curl which is fine it could be better it looks like it needs some life so now i'm just gonna start cramping like that hold and then we're gonna start working on the curl again emphasizing them we just want that beautiful line there that you're gonna have of the hollywood ish but we're gonna make it an updated look with some big curls at the bottom I am not curling everything again. I'm just going over the pieces that were moved to this side just to give it more of an emphasized look. And you can do a little bit more touches if you want on your hair and make it more curlier or voluminous um, so this is the old Hollywood holiday sexy look for this time of the year I would definitely do this hairstyle for the holiday season um, and you can add a little clip here on the side which will look super super cute I wish I had ones I can show you guys but this is the type of look right here. And you know what? The next day, you can part it right back to the middle or however you do your parts and have those beachy, flowing, wavy hair. And it would just look super adorable and cute for the winter months. And it would seem like you are on a beach every day. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed my holiday old hollywood sexy look for the holiday season or of course date night i love dressing up for date night and doing up my hair um i hope you enjoy this hair tutorial definitely i recommend to maybe make your curls a little bit bigger if you want or add some hairspray because i can see i'm moving it a little bit more so you can have it in place please let me know what are your holiday hair looks i would love to try those as well don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye.